Jelly, you uh, sorry, sorry, no, spelled P.J. And, and, and seemed to really get into it defensively. You said earlier this season you like to play defense. So, uh, do you think your defense was solid today and helped the team pull away? Um, absolutely. I feel like uh, we had a team effort on the defensive side. Um, personally, I got to continue to get better guarding quicker guards. Um, by doing that, I'm going to continue to guard Carson and PJ in practice because there are two quick guards right there. So um, defensively, I got to get better. But uh, it's my first time, first game, official, like game in a Purdue uniform. And um, defensively, I felt we did a great job as a team. And personally, I think I did OK. How did playing an outside team um, <coughs> change the defensive challenge as opposed to what you guys see just in practice scrimmaging that sort of thing? Um, absolutely. Um, this team was like to us, they were kind of smaller, so they played on the perimeter a lot more. Um, in practice, uh, we have we have actually some length. We got some length, 6A across the board, two seven-footers. Um, so getting to the basket is tougher, and we're used to um, guarding and uh, playing against seven-footers. So uh, being able to guard the perimeter which helps us a lot as guards, containing the dribble, not letting them get inside, but also knowing we have two seven footers behind us to protect the rim. So um, I feel like we used our length pretty well. Are they trying to post you up at all? Oh yeah. Um, I think there was. I think there was one set where they tried to get you a post touch and drew a foul. Absolutely. Is that something um, you're trying to incorporate into things? Here? For sure, absolutely. Um, just trying to give me post touches a little bit. Um, just I'm gonna continue. I'm gonna have smaller guards on me. So um, just finding my way around the rim. Uh, in transition to stopping and turning. Um, we do work on that a lot of practice. They want me to do that as they draw upset. So um, that is an advantage for me and for the team as well. So I can get my teammates open and I give me easy looks at the rim. Did you do that for your high school at all? Or? Oh, absolutely. A ton. Yeah. A ton. So. I imagine that can be a strength for you. Well, you. For sure. Absolutely. So, uh, just uh, are you working on post moves or anything like that? Or do you already have a pretty uh, established set? Um, I'm also I'm continuing to work on my post moves as well, uh, just trying to get uh, work on finishes around the basket, uh, out the out of the post, facing up, uh, working on a little short jump shot right there. Um, all that is continue. I'm going to continue to get better at. Yeah, I think I saw you in practice one day, uh, going up against Brandon with the pad like, like the big guys would. Is that something you do every day? Or? Um, no, that's not an everyday process for me. Usually, the ones that's going to get Coach B is uh, Isaac, Matt, yeah. um, Eden, Grady. Um, but I do get in there sometimes because I'm going to have uh, smaller guards on me with uh, bigger people trying to help. So I still got to be strong down there, uh, be physical, and uh, make the game easy for myself and for my teammates. How about it looked like Dakota Mathias pulled you aside after one maybe an errant pass or something like that? What kind of things is he saying to you in those moments? And just what kind of, you know, how does that experience help you? Um, absolutely. He's been here four years. Um, this is my first official game in a Purdue jersey. So he, he's been at the highest level, played against the best teams in the country. So he knows the defensive principles. Uh, it was mostly on the defensive side. He was talking to me more. Um, offensively, I think we did pretty well. We didn't shoot the ball as we wanted to today. Mm -hmm. But um, whatever he says, I'm going to listen to him. Um, and everything he tells me is nothing wrong. It's always something that I can correct. So I just pay attention to what he says and just try to do what he says in the, uh, in the game defensively. Because you played so much basketball in the summer with World University games, did you feel like an experienced player today, or did you still still feel like like a guy who just got here? Um, I felt uh, I wasn't nervous at all. Um, you know, you get the butterflies. I really didn't have any butterflies today, so um, I felt like just the games in Taiwan, um, coming back and knowing I, what I need to work on um, in practice, um, it leads me to this type of moment. I wasn't nervous. Um, I just had to go. I made minor mistakes, freshman mistakes, but as I continue to get better, I'm going to continue to work on individually and as a team, and um, just continue to build my confidence. My work ethic and et cetera. So uh, I felt pretty good out there today. What impresses you most about Carson Edwards? Um, he's, a, he's, out, he's the score. Uh, it's, uh, he's a great teammate too as well. Um, even though he's scoring, he's still talking to us and just telling us, oh, we just get to continue to get better, let's continue to get better. Um, he listens and he just has a motor. When you have a motor and then yes. playing hard, every time you step on the court, it all is all going to click together. So your whole team is going to start playing together. Uh, your whole team starts to start playing hard. So he just brings that energy defensively and offensively. How was it for you playing here at Mackey in front of the home crowd for the first time? Um, it was pretty good. Um, first time, you know, you just look up. You finally get to see people that familiar faces at Purdue on it instead of uh, Taiwanese people. <laughs> um, but it, it was a great feeling uh, coming out, seeing uh, a little bit of the environment, 
Um, usually it's not like a, a pack house like it usually will be, um, but just people supporting, just coming out to a, a first scrimmage against a great team we just played. Uh, it was an awesome feeling, just just getting out there and just, just going out there and just playing hard. How often do people fumble your passes? Uh, I, I want to say they fumble a lot, but uh, it's, it's, I'm just... I, just, I, can, I, I think I'm a pretty good passer, mm-hmm. so sometimes they don't know when it's coming. They don't know when they expect it, but in practice, they do pretty well uh, catching my passes. Uh, but today, you know, it's just, it's just luck of the draw. That probably won't happen often, yeah. but um, it was just a couple plays. He just mishandled it or traveled, but um, he still had a great game. No matter if I, uh, he dropped my two passes or three passes or not, he still had a great game. And I'm going to continue to just continue to do that in practice and uh, make sure he gets like, used to catching those passes. What makes you a good passer? <coughs> You've always seemed like you anticipate things while you see that next step developing. Is that is that accurate? Um, absolutely. Um, I just I just try to do like I see the game uh, passing wise. I just always grew up. Um, just very, I always wanted to get my teammates involved, and when you have that mindset, mindset, you always, I feel like you'll be a great, a great passer. Mm-hmm. Always seeing the open things, always seeing your open teammates, put them, put them in, uh, put them in positions to score. Um, so it's just something I just been continuing to progress at over time. Is that something that just comes naturally for you, or is it something that that you've been coached with, or that that you've really worked on? Um, I feel like it, it just comes natural. Um, you don't really find when you work at, uh, when you see a player uh, working out in the gym by himself or training, you don't see them really working on passes. So. Um, it just all just comes naturally, just playing for so long, always having that mindset of getting my teammate the best shot he can get, uh, playing together as a team, always having that mindset. It just it just stuck with me. So um, the pass it just comes easy because it always looks good. I feel like to, to me, I'd rather have a, a nice pass than a nice bucket. That's just my mindset. Are there adjustments you've had to make at the college level from a passing standpoint, either um, based on the defenses you're playing or the, or the, or the players you're playing with? Um, absolutely. Um, some of the passes you you get in high school, they don't really work because there's a lot more length, a lot more speed, faster pace, speed. So you have to, to uh, be precise in what type of pass, what type of – you got enough room, do you have enough space to get that pass through, is it going to get through? And it always just have to go through your mind in a split second. And um, I just – as practice continues, go, what goes on, we have size. So they have – sometimes they get hands on it, and I'm going to continue to work on it. But – um, just precise. You have to just can you just to see everything, see the whole floor, because it's a big, a big court. So just seeing the whole floor, uh, making the best decision is just the best thing I can do.